Oh, hi, Ice-T. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Okay, now for today's lesson, come and join me right here. Now, if you remember way back last week, we were talking a lot about um, foreground and middle ground and background in, in pictures, okay? Now, your task for today is uh, a small little craft activity to really solidify the concept of foreground, middle ground, and background, okay? So all you'll need is uh, a piece of paper, okay, A4. Um, bigger is okay, slightly bigger. You'll need a pencil and some coloring pencils, and that's all. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's we'll take your paper, have it like on a landscape, not portrait, this way, but landscape. And you want to fold it into thirds, okay? So how do we do that? The best way is taking it from the right and folding it so there's an equal distance between here and the edge of the page, and the edge of the page, and the fold, okay? So that's how we know it's roughly in thirds, okay? And then you do it the same again. But it's easier this time because you can fold up to the previous fold line. And with your fingernail, put a nice crisp fold in there. All right, so now you have your piece of paper in thirds. Okay, what's next? So, um, we're going to start to draw uh, our foreground. Okay, so I'm just going to copy what I've... Uh, drawn previously here. So our foreground is going to be a, a bush. So it's kind of like something like this. Just very simple bush. Okay. And our middle ground is going to be a house. So I'm going to draw a house with a with an attic with kind of like a this triangle thing here. And it comes down like this. And across like this to the fold. Okay. So we have foreground, middle ground, and in the middle will be your background, okay? So once you have this, you can start to cut. So you cut around your bushes. I'm just gonna do this very quickly. You can take a bit more time. And when you get to the fold, you then cut all the way up along the fold. Like so. Okay, that is your foreground. And the same with the middle ground. We cut along the shape of the middle ground, like this. And of course, don't forget to stop when you get to the fold that marks a third of your paper. And if we can cut from the top to cut out your middle ground, okay? So, now you have your foreground, middle ground, and background. We can fold them all together. And then you have a nice picture. So, uh, like I say, this uh, kind of will solidify that, the meaning of foreground, middle ground, and background in your, in your minds as you go forward. Uh, so, what do we do from here? This is one I made earlier. So, of course, I, uh, I coloured coloured the bushes in green. And the house, I gave windows. There's my bicycle. And, of course, the background is clouds with a rainbow. You can be as creative as you want with exactly the layout of your house. You can have a different shape to it. It can be a different colour, different kinds of bushes maybe more flowers at the front. In the foreground, it's entirely up to you, okay? This is just your basic template. And if you want to get really creative, you could even draw the rooms in the house and draw what's going on in each of those rooms. I didn't get a chance to do that yet, but maybe I'll do that now. Okay, iced tea, so best of luck, and it's over to you.